Clostridium difficile is currently the leading cause of hospital-acquired infections in the United States, and it's a pathogen that infects your gut when your beneficial bacteria have been disrupted. It's caused by the antibiotics that we give to patients in order to treat infections, and so it's a terrible dilemma for physicians because we need to give the antibiotics to cure infections. At the same time, we know that we're making patients susceptible to this infection, C. difficile. So the driving force behind me joining Dr. Petrie's lab was because he focuses on issues that are very prevalent in um, clinics in the United States and internationally. So the focus of his research are problems that are directly influencing the disease. Until Erica came in the lab, we were not working on Clostridium difficile at all. We were also were not really an immunology lab, we're more of a, of a microbial pathogenesis lab. Which means we studied the bug and we didn't study the immune response. It was a very enriching experience for me um, to have the perspective of people who are thinking about how the pathogen infects the host when I'm thinking about how the host combats that pathogen. What Erica has accomplished is to answer the most important question in C. difficile, which is why is it that antibiotics make someone susceptible to this infection? This discovery was very exciting for us in the lab because we discovered this pathway that's uh, increased by beneficial bacteria that also targets a cell that is normally thought to be involved in other types of diseases like allergy and asthma. Um, for this bacterial infection. So it really establishes a secondary role for these beneficial bacteria in protecting against C. diff as well as um, establishing a, a new cell that was not previously recognized as being important in this disease. And so what is needed and what's being developed are much more advanced probiotics that actually replicate what is naturally present and can have a more sustained effect. So we're hoping that this discovery can be targeted as a treatment to either prevent or treat C. difficile patients. Um, to increase this pathway may have a beneficial uh, effect on the severity of disease for these patients. I think this is a, a huge advance because what was not understood, which is why do antibiotics make you susceptible, now is clearly understood. It's really an exciting moment for me that the discovery that we made may potentially um, have some type of beneficial influence on patients suffering from Clostridium difficile.